Y'all, can we talk about my favorite from 90 Day Fiance? Can we talk about Angela for a minute? Now, y'all know I like to set the record straight on different topics. A lot of media outlets like to spread rumors because it gets them clicks, which makes them money. I don't know why some outlets can't just discuss the facts and spill factual fresh tea and give their opinions on it. But hey, like I said, that's what I'm here for. We're going to talk about what's really going on, and then we're going to discuss. Let's talk 90 Day Fiancé for a minute. Y'all know I started doing this whole reality TV commentary thing last year when I started covering 90 Day Fiancé. Y'all remember I done a lot of videos on 90 Day Fiancé. And if you're here from that, from last year, <laughs> hey... Thank you for sticking around. But look, it eventually blossomed into different other shows. But 90 Day Fiance and certain cast members hold a special place in my heart. Angela Dean being one of those. So apparently, Angela liked a clickbait article talking about she ready to divorce Michael. So folks took that and ran with it. Child, I posted a video about Angela and Michael getting their own spinoff. I was trying to figure out if they was getting their own spinoff based on her surgery and all this. Because I shared about her surgery before she shared about her surgery. So, yeah, I don't mean to toot my own horn or anything, but toot toot. And she liked that too, by the way. She not only liked my post and my video, she reposted it. They ain't got no spinoff yet. I mean, they could eventually, but I'm just saying. Just because she likes something. Mm. Look, Angela and a lot of reality TV personalities like articles about them. Because in entertainment, any publicity <laughs> is publicity. No matter if it's true or not. A lot of reality TV personalities will like and repost because they like people talking. Now, let's discuss... This recent interview, Angela did, which is where you'll read or where you'll see a lot of uh, clickbait titles that say like, Angela is headed for divorce. Angela and Michael are getting divorced. <laughs> hey, this video title might be that. I don't know. Angela told E.T.'s, is that Malaysia Johnson, that being long distance has definitely taken its toll on them as Michael is still waiting for his visa to be approved to come to Georgia to be with her. Jesus, that's been like three, four years now, y'all. Another big issue between the two of them has been Michael being against Angela getting weight loss surgery, though she ended up going through with it. Well, I'm sure he's thinking, girl, you'll be out here acting wild getting somebody else. I don't think so because we know Michael loves his some Angie. I was definitely talking to the lawyer. She says when asked if she's ever contemplated divorce, I said, I'm not going to put up with this. If I put up with this with him all the time over there, what's it going to be like over here? Angela described their first year of marriage as hell and says viewers will see that on this season of 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. Of course, she had to put that plug in there. <laughs> hey, ain't no shade. We see you, girl. I love me some Angela, okay? I'm telling you, I love me some Angela. And her many, many objects that she stuffs in her bra. Oh, my God. Don't get me started. But at one point, I was telling Michael, somehow you changed since we got married. And we're not even living together yet. Like, don't take that for granted because there's always a damn divorce court around the corner. She says, she told him at one point, I mean, we went to hell. We literally went to hell, and it was bad, and you'll see that. <laughs> Once again, Angela know how to do the shameless plug now. <laughs> Stay tuned. You'll see this. Coming up this season. <laughs> In a preview of the new season, it's clear the two are still dealing with trust issues as Angela is shown shopping for a tracker to put on his phone. Angela justified her actions, claiming Michael was exhibiting some shady behavior. Being across the world, Michael does a lot of things. I don't know if it was to aggravate me or not, but he wouldn't answer his phone. He, 
<laughs> I can't wire. He'll make me think he was doing something. So I decided to get a tracker on his phone. She explains. I said he's doing something. And whether it's not bad or not, it's still upsetting me. <laughs> oh my God, y'all. I love me some Angela. I'm telling you. She's something serious. Michael always gives me a reason to explode, she says. He knows how to get me. I think he likes when I get upset because it shows that I care about him in some crazy way. The struggle is real, girl. The struggle is real. Girl, I feel you. But look, we can all tell Michael loves him some Angela. And she loves her some Michael. So, I mean, hey, as long as they're happy. I'm just trying to figure out why is it taking Michael so long to get over here. I understand, like, a year put off because of the Rona. But, y'all, what was the issue before that? I don't know. Despite their issues, Angela said the two are still hoping and praying that he'll be able to come to the U.S. after waiting for three and a half years. She noted that she doesn't listen to their critics. No, we could tell that. No, she sure don't. And that's what I like about her. She is a strong, opinionated Southern woman. I've always said that. Love her for that. She don't take no stuff, y'all. I know deep in my heart we love each other and we got a lot of stuff to work out, but we can't do it long distance. You just can't. She notes. We made it this far. We're probably going to have more bumps. We're going to have our ups and downs. Still, that's part of being married at the first year. Even though we're married a year, it's really not a year until we plant our feet down together. The basic stuff that you have to get used to living together, I think we'll be all right. I just think that we, uh, we have stories and stories ahead of us. I agree. I agree. I still think they need their own show. And... Of all the people that have made it over here to the United States, <coughs> Natalie, <coughs> I mean, Julia, I could go on and on. Uh, speaking of Julia, let me get into that in a minute. I was going to say remind me, but you can't remind me. Uh, I think Michael deserves to come on over here. I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, talking about Julia. I wonder what Angela thinks about Julia saying that people don't need surgery. They need to go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god i want to know what angela thinks about that i wish i could interview angela but i can't because gina her manager <laughs> she doesn't like me too well i'm just saying but look y'all i do want to give a huge shout out to angela because she looking good she looking good and she clearly feeling good out here playing and loving on them grandkids i like to see it i love to see it I love to see happiness on her face. I just want to see Michael by her side. I mean, is that a bad thing? Look at that ponytail. We see you, girl. She kind of reminded me of uh, JoJo Seawall's mama. But look, can we stop promoting the flat tummy tea? I mean, we all know you had surgery. You were open and honest, and we love you for it. But can you, I mean, why do people do this? Why do celebrities do this? And do people actually buy this stuff? Let me know if you buy this stuff. <laughs> Let me know if you have the flat tummy tea gummies. Let me know. And also, let me know if you're excited for the premiere of 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After. Tomorrow night, that is this Sunday, on TLC. My DVRs are set. Are yours? I'm excited to see Michael and Angela. I know I'm going to laugh my tushy off. These two... Pure entertainment. That's why I said they need their own show. They need their own show. We could laugh and laugh and laugh with them. Oh, love them. I would also love it if you shared this video and gave it a thumbs up. And please smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And click that little bell so your notifications are turned on. And be sure when you click the bell... It's clicked to all. That way you'll be notified every single time I upload. I love you for watching. And I'll see y'all in my next video.